We wanted to share with you Grace's story. For those of you who didn't get the pleasure of meeting her, she was truly a spirit that cannot be caged. Operations Director Kristen and Pet Program Manager Carly first met Grace in September of 2020. She was in a shelter in the northwest of Sacramento that was overcrowded because of the ongoing wildfires. They could tell by the condition Grace was in that she had been homeless for some time before arriving at the shelter. Though her body was in bad shape, her joy and spirit were high. She was friendly and happy and seemed to enjoy the human attention. Ready for a new start, Grace boarded the Mac and was on her way to Berkeley Humane. She really enjoyed her photo shoot and we were able to see her personality as she became more comfortable. After a few days in the kennels under the great care of the canine volunteers, Grace was snuggling up with her foster family, Francie and Max Blackwood. They opened their hearts and home to Grace. For two months, they showered her with love and the comforts of home, even taking her out in a stroller so she could enjoy the outside without struggling to walk. Soon she was medically cleared for adoption. It didn't take long before a wonderful animal loving family adopted her in early November of 2020. Grace's rescue would not have been possible without our volunteers. A very special guy came to us late in August of 2020. We learned he was your average neighborhood cat, the kind of stray who survived off handouts and garbage. But when he arrived at Berkeley Humane, he looked like a crumpled up bag of bones, dangerously emaciated and riddled with fleas. However, his will to survive was strong and volunteer Bunny Curtis offered up a name for the senior kitty, Braveheart. It fit him perfectly. It was clear Braveheart had been through some type of trauma. His fur looked like it had been burned off. He was practically bald around the head and neck and crusty everywhere. He had teeth and skin infections and was diagnosed with FIV. Because of these medical issues, he spent a long time at the adoption center getting care from the feline volunteers who not only fed him and kept his condo clean, but offered their love. It was clear Braveheart enjoyed all the attention. Eventually, he was released into the unyielding care of his foster, Aileen Forbes. For months, she tended to his every need. As he got better and better, his personality blossomed, and Aileen soon learned he loved to play, purr, kiss, and nuzzle. With TLC, and helpful medications, his condition continued to improve, and just after Christmas, Braveheart was adopted. No longer a stray, but a prized member of a loving family. He even has a dog sibling now, and can watch the birds from the comfort of home. Braveheart's rescue would not have been possible without our volunteers. So again, thank you. Thank you for saving lives with us.